Hey everybody, how's it going? Danny Soleil here, aka Travel Man Dan, aka Reading Man Dan. Hope you're having a good day so far. Hope all is well. Welcome to video number 24 of my 75 hard journey. Woo! Uh, uh. All right, doing it, baby. Getting through it. Uh, going ahead and documenting my 75 hard journey here on YouTube so that one day I can look back on it and say, wow, good job, D. All right, high five. Have on. <laughs> I don't know why I'm preferring to myself. He's being uh, over there, but he, I, I'm right here. And uh, most importantly, I hope that I can go ahead and inspire at least one single person to go ahead and give this a try. This is my 24th day. I feel absolutely great. I'm starting to lock in. I can notice little things that are happening that, um, you know, through the daily habits of life, even though I'm extremely tired, I'm still on crutches. I'm still out here, you know, trying hard just like everybody else is. It's... um. It's a, it's pretty interesting because these daily habits are, are in, starting to be ingrained in my brain and, and I got to get them done. So, uh, yeah, going through it. If you're um, if you're interested, follow any one of the videos or watch any one of the videos that are uh, previous to this day. Uh, but if you're here now and you're following along, you know what we're doing Monday through Friday. I'm going ahead and reading you the 75 hard tactical guide to winning the war with yourself. That's right. War with Yourself is Andy Priscilla, the author of the book and the creator of the 75 Hard Challenge. And so the last time we left, our last time I left you, uh, we talked, uh, well, we heard about Andy Priscilla being stabbed, right? Uh, pretty, uh, pretty crazy. And how he went through, you know, a lot of uh, anxiety and depression and everything else that comes with it. Uh, abuse of uh, drugs and alcohol uh, because he was uh, he's still to this day pretty messed up with some scars and uh, you know if you have any uh, deformities uh, you know just uh, like Andy did or whatever I'm sure it's really hard but he he's uh, he talked about it last chapter uh, and then he said you know what something profound happened so that's exactly where we're at right now chapter number five a profound moment at price cutter and if you don't know what price cutter is it's kind of like um like a bargain dollar store i think uh, you know probably in the midwest they call it price cutter uh, 99 cents um we have like big lots throughout the united states there's a lot of these places but i think that's what price cutter is um, but let's find out what it is. And each and every day, I'm gonna, or Monday through Friday, I'm going to be reading you the chapter of the book. So here we go. I was pushing the cart through Price Cutter, shopping for some groceries. Okay, so it's probably their uh, their supermarket. Probably beer. <laughs> I know what you mean, Andy. <laughs> hey, 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 what you guys think of yesterday's video? Uh, pulling out the old beer set. Uh, damn, I miss it. Anyway, we're here to read this. I came to the end of an aisle and accidentally bumped into somebody else's cart as they were turning around the corner. I started to say, I'm sorry, still looking in my cart, but then I looked up and here's the reality. I couldn't really tell at first whether the person in front of me was a man or a woman because his or her face was so badly burned. And guess what? I looked away. I did the same shit that people had done to me. But this lady, that's what she was, didn't miss a beat. Hey, she said, what the fuck happened to your face? <laughs> I looked back up at her face and saw a big grin. We both burst into laughter. Obviously, we both understood that people do say and think that kind of shit. We ended up having a conversation for 10 minutes. That single conversation changed my whole life. This lady had been in a plane crash that killed five people. Somehow, she was the only one who survived, though she had been burned from head to toe. We talked about what she went through on how she had to learn to overcome it and how she lived with gratitude. I talked about it, what I had gone through. It put things into perspective. And when I walked out of Price Cutter, I felt healed, cured, instantly. Wow. Okay, so, so that's it. That is, uh, that is the only chapter we're going to be reading. Good thing because I'm quite exhausted today. I just, uh, just got back from work, as you can see. I'm in my undershirt still. But wow, that's amazing that um, you know, that Andy Frisilla bumped into somebody that has have had to go through the same uh, uh, deformity as he did, and they sat and talked about it, and and, and this woman had really 
put it into perspective that her life and gratitude, um, what it was to her to survive this. I'm not sure what exactly they talked about, but I'm sure it was along those lines. Um, just amazing to hear. And it, it changed them instantly. And we're going to find out more as I come back to you tomorrow. Just going to make a quick short one today, guys. I'll read you more uh, tomorrow about what's going on in this journey. And so the idea is that not only do you have uh, all the stuff out there that's already out there um, on this challenge, but you also have my YouTube videos that you can follow along with, and you can listen to the book, and you can listen to you know uh, the stories that Andy went through that helped inspire him, and we're, we're seeing a turning point, or we're learning about a turning point in his life that you know eventually brought him to this challenge. So I hope you found some value in today's uh, lesson. I hope that you you know were entertained. And uh, most of all, I hope I can go ahead and inspire at least one person. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Soleil. I'll see you tomorrow, a.k.a. Travel Man Dan, a.k.a. Reading Man Dan. And remember, it's a big world out there. Make sure you see every bit of it.